EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's the Redskins going up against the Saints. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Washington Redskins. And we say hi again, everybody. Brandon Gordon here as we count down the kickoff. I turn to my partner, that's Charles Davis. And Charles, Larry pointed out in the open, we've got a pretty good matchup of wide receivers here this afternoon, don't we? And those guys have such a big impact on the game nowadays. We know it's a throwing game, but the guys who can go up and get it, the guys who can break tackles after the catch and make bigger plays, oh yeah, they love spotlight as well. They want the football, they want the attention. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. In just a moment, we will see Washington's first snaps on offense, and we'll see that guy right there, Kirk Cousins. Last week, a loss to Minnesota, 26 of 45 for Cousins in that game. Now, three touchdowns, two of them with his legs. His ability to not just throw the ball downfield, but to assess situations and realize when his legs can help him get out of trouble, it shows that he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Unfortunately, didn't get a win against Minnesota, but Kirk Cousins, doesn't matter who he's throwing to, what the line is in front of him, he's producing in 2017. They'll run with Thompson. And he's got Rome. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. A huge play there right off the bat. 58 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. This is the rookie from Oklahoma, Samaj P. Ryan. And they're going to lose some on this play, being knocked back to the 18. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Second down, Cousins. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I don't mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. On third and one, here's Cousins. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. But you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So now on fourth down, Jay Gruden will call on his field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. 
So it's our visitors who make the first dent in the scoreboard as they get three here on the initial drive of the ball game. Yeah, it's hard to say who actually won that opening drive. On the one hand, anytime you come in as a road team and get an early lead, you're going to be thrilled. But at the same time, to have the ball as deep in enemy territory as they did and come away with only three, that's got to be a little bit of a disappointment. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The New Orleans Saints train, it just keeps on rolling, Charles. They've now won seven straight after losing the first two to start the season, and Drew Brees bringing the offense out onto the field. But I don't know. Can they be stopped right now? It's hard to believe that you're talking about a New Orleans team. And to answer your question, it doesn't look like they can be stopped because they've gotten so balanced on offense. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe that a team has started 0-2 reeling off seven straight in the manner in which they're doing it. The defense is playing at an extremely high level, and Drew Brees is playing to that defense. In fact, they ran for more yardage in this game than they threw for, which is very unusual in New Orleans. Yeah, Brees only had 184 through the air. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Breeze to throw on second down. And it's caught, Kobe Flaner. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Breeze finding Flaner for New Orleans first. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, earlier we mentioned that the running game was really good for New Orleans last week as we look at the starters. He had Ingram and Kamara combining for 237 yards. So that means the guys up front did a heck of a job, didn't they? Let's give them a little bit of love, shall we? Okay, Max Unger at center, Pro Bowl caliber player. Left guard, Andrews Pete, former first-round pick, mobile and really excellent run blocker. Left tackle, Teron Armstead, one of the better athletes at left tackle in the league. At right guard, Larry Warford is a flat-out road grader. And at right tackle, the rookie, Ryan Ramsey. Ramchek, who hasn't missed a snap yet this season. And a special shout-out to Zach Streif. Now Breeze lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now the ninth-year man from LSU, Thomas Morstead, on to punt. Back deep for the Redskins, Jamison Crowder.
And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, you're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash, <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Now Thompson, and he'll be brought down here at the 28. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Again, a run with Thompson. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Third down. That's Thompson. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way, on to punt. Back deep for the Saints is Ted Ginn. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? First and ten, here's Breeze. And he's got it over the middle, Flaner. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. We'll see a lot of that from Drew Brees. Spread the field, get rid of the ball quickly. He spreads the field out a lot, so he's able to recognize the defenses, the coverages, and if people are going to blitz it. And he has the fortitude to stand in there when they do. He serves as his own blitz control, so to speak. Hey, you've got a free runner coming. That's one less guy in coverage. He'll stand in there, take the hit, and deliver a strike downfield. On second down, Ingram. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Ingram again, a first down carry. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 
And here is the Redskin defense. You want to make a cornerback better? Get him a safety that patrols the middle of the field. And DJ Swearinger coming over from Arizona will do exactly that for Washington. If you play aggressive man-to-man -man and someone gets free, Swearinger will police the middle of the field with well-timed tackles. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game to throw it's breeze and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact incomplete this team is not going to make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play he came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in here's thomas morstead now on for his second punt he'd take a repeat of his first He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Still first down. They run it here with Thompson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Second and very short here, less than a yard. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Fresh set of downs here. On the ground, it's Thompson. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. So he was holding from that left tackle position. 
Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. First and 15 here behind the chains. Cousins setting up the screen to Piran. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. They're ready now for second and nine. Cousins gives this to Piran. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. I mean, that was an example of why offensive linemen might want rearview mirrors at times, because you have your assignments to block, but if you can see what's going on in the backfield and maybe the guy carrying the ball is headed in another direction, it might change what you do up front, but if they can't see that, and he's not in sync with what they're doing up front. Well, this is when you end up with plays like this. And he's going to go down in the end zone. Cousins taken down for the safety. So the screen pass goes backwards. That play seemed to have a potential disaster written all over it from the start. I mean, wasn't that a tough spot on the field to make that call? You're inviting defensive linemen and linebackers to get pressure. So if one of them sniffs this out, you're definitely in danger. And this time, it costs them two points. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. This will be fielded at the 17. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Starts here with a carry by Ingram. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 3-4 defense, usually here you'll see the linebackers come up make those plays, but the nose tackle also vital. That was so vital because what you just pointed out, normally he eats up blockers that allows the linebackers to get to the ball carrier. In this case, he did his job and then some, and there was no gain at all for the runner. Breeze to Ingram on the draw. And an alley to run. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Breeze gives it up to Ingram. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. One quarter in the books. 3-2 is our score. We'll head back to New Orleans after this.
the NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. receivers really gain stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Play fake to Ingram. Now it's Breeze. It's complete. Flater right side. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. From the gun, it's Breeze. This is caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. scrimmage back at the six he lost four there and it's third down defensively I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third and I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys what do we do because now you don't have a go-to play either side they pick throwing it running it it won't be easy and let's see six defensive backs out there they're in the dime here on third and goal so it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. False start, offense. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run-blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Shotgun now for Breeze. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Oh. 
On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Lutz puts this one through. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now we look at Josh Dotson. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Cousins on first down. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he'll give it here to his running back. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Cousins, a handoff. This is Pirine. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Take it down. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. The Redskins on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A.J. Klein. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside.
Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one-yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Ingram again. Gets out of a little bit of trouble there with a shifty move. He'll take it up past the six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Saints on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Now Breeze. And Gens got it. And he will be hit with a lot of force and spun down at the 19. Breeze to another longtime vet again for the New Orleans first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's shift gears for a second and look back to this last week and some of the top performances that we had. The Saints in the backfield. You had Kamara and Ingram combining for 298 rushing yards. Yeah, the Saints were the first team with six rushing touchdowns in that game. Zero punts in the game, so their punter Thomas Morstead got the weekend off with pay. Not bad, huh? <laughs> First time that's happened since the 1941 Bears. And how about Robert Woods with the Los Angeles Rams? Second straight week with two touchdowns. They brought him in to show the guys how to be a professional. <laughs> He's also showing them how to be a productive. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Marie's going to try and throw on third down. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. This is Ingram on first and 10. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. 
This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. now on first down and the tight end has it it's Flaner and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line seven yards the pick up on the pitch and catch nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made it a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage two minutes to go here in the first half we're back to New Orleans after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, we'll send you to Orlando and Larry Ridley as he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. But no touchdowns. These guys need to give Larry some touchdowns to talk about. Things are too easy for him right now back in the studio. Come on, guys. Help the man out. Give him something to talk about. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On second down, here's Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Pass interference. Defense. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Tight end is intended target, and it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Breeze to throw again. And he's 
going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Preston Smith in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. To throw is Breeze. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. No, it's no good. Just shy of the crossbar, and this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Cousins now to throw on first down. The pass complete to Ryan Grant. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Throwing his cousins. And this would complete to Reed. And he's brought down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. On 
first and ten. Cousins. And Reed with it over the middle. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. First down, here's Cousins. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Cousins again. This will be caught at about the five. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. In position for the possible game winner, but they need to get up and spike it. They'll throw again. Cousins. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder as the first half is winding down. And the Redskins are able to strike for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. And the lead is up to five. So the drive there took six plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Oh. 
So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Redskins who have the lead here. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped. As we welcome you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Saints haven't played their best football and trailed because of it. The Redskins have come in and looked good as the road team. And we'll just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Early in the first quarter, defense will get to the quarterback here. This will go as a loss of fog. Third and long. Offensive line won't be able to hold up here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage, closing the gap to just one. Saints have it on second and five. Smith's got to get the quarterback here. This will go for a loss of eight. Third down from inside the 10. Crowder's wide open, able to make the grab. After the short pass, he'll score. They go ahead by five. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to New Orleans for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you. A fairly tight game here as we get set to resume play in this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And the third quarter starts with a run by Ingram. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Let's see what the offense comes with here, second and eight. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. The Saints on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Pass interference. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Hey, 
After the penalty, it's Ingram. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Now Ingram, he's been busy today. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. The Saints on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. Throwing now is Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. yards still to go here on second and goal and not a whole lot there he does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three his path became similar to almost running a stretch play didn't it trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back it just never materialized the offense on third down three for seven so far in this game they're looking at a third and goal here Now Breeze, and that is incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. On fourth down, off goes Drew Breeze, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So give him three there. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown Looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan, and 
Thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. First down throw for Cousins. Caught on the right side, Reed. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and five. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, with that incompletion, I want to ask about the game that you worked this last week in Minnesota and Washington. And Minnesota's Teddy Bridgewater didn't play, but active again on the sideline was very, very emotional, wasn't it? He certainly was. And I can't even begin to imagine what the road was like coming back, the rehab, the lonely days, the pain, all of that because at one point he was told he may never play in the NFL again. Yet there he was, dressed out, ready to play. Says he draws his inspiration from his mother, who beat breast cancer, and figured if she could do it, he could as well. A uh, neat story. He was sidelined for 442 days. Nice to see him back in uniform. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The Redskins on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Again, here's P. Ryan. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. here on first down. This one complete to Niles Paul. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. But this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Off the play fake, Cousins. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's going to be run over, hit hard, as he'll be marked down right at the line of scrimmage. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. Three. 
Now a second down throw for Cousins. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson, and it's third down. Tremendous field position there, and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone, and they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. The Redskins on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. That's going to set him back five yards. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. To the air again, it's Cousins. Now this is brought in by Pryor. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And this is going to be no good. He misses it off to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far, and they come away with nothing. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and 10, way up at the 37. Breeze now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And now it's second down. Well, on that incompletion, let's discuss San Francisco. They're off the schneid. They beat the Giants, so both of those teams now won an eight. Cleveland, the only remaining winless team in the NFL. And again, for them to get out of the number one pick sweepstakes, because no one really wants to have that, right? Here's our upcoming schedule. Talk about Cleveland. Jacksonville at Cincinnati, at Los Angeles Chargers, Green Bay, Baltimore, at Chicago, at Pittsburgh. Where's the win? I think they're going to win this week. You like them this week against Jacksonville? They're at home. I like that one. I'm identifying Baltimore down the stretch. Oh, you got Baltimore down the stretch. We'll see. I think Cleveland, this is the week. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. The Saints on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. Hey, 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 hey. You waiting? Shotgun now for Breeze. This is going to be incomplete. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, 
you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They run a draw here on second down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down, Cousins, and that is incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength, and he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. <laughs> we'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. now on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. Now Breeze, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Saints on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third down and 12. To throw is Breeze. Coleman has it here right side. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, 
and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Thomas Morstead now. He's been terrific so far. putting the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Here comes Kirk Cousins now to lead his offense back out there. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. down and a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25 he's able to rattle off six on the carry and that'll get him to third and four well brandon pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage they've got the football but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play you know my, my music teacher back in new paltz mrs bythema bagley used to say don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo and what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now it's Gim. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now Breeze. And he's got it over the middle. Flaner. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. 
And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Here's Ingram. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and ten. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position maybe, turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brand is all about pace and tempo now for him. They've got the advantage. So I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady, get those gains, and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> and he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. On third and short, they'll try option left. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Here's Gim. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Wait! 
Bree's going to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. comes to the line now first and ten here's breeze to throw and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Here's Breeze. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. has it first and ten. Breeze now. He goes underneath to Ingram. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. Give him six on the play, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Again, it's Breeze. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Breeze. Throw left side taken in by Hill. The completion good for three and it's second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. Full start, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Breeze hands to Ingram. And he'll be knocked down sideways. 
Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Saints on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and eight. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So a big one coming now for Will Lutz. This for a fourth-quarter lead. puts this one through and with that they have taken the lead by a point here in the fourth so the drive here ends with a field goal and that does give them the lead but this one is still a long ways from over and you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front but then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out and you think i don't know the field goals are going to be enough to get us home Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A first down throw for Cousins. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson. And that'll bring up second down. So second and ten here. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Redskins on third down. Just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This is third and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Sheldon Rankins, he's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down, you bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Tressway now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at about the 14. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. On first down, Breeze, and that's incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. They'll try to run some clock with Ingram. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And brought in here by Flaner. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Thomas Morstead now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. So a change of possession here on the punt. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. First down, here's Cousins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. On second down, Cousins again. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Cousins. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Yeah. 
Cousins on first down. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Second and ten now. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. They'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Cousins in the offense is going to stay out there. They're going to try on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. He's 
Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Drew Brees with a kneel down and that ought to do it. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.